Start by installing barbed seam plates around the base of the curb. Plates should be spaced a maximum of 12 inches on center. Keep the plates approximately 3 to 6 inches in from the corner. Use heavy duty fasteners to fasten the plates to the deck. If dirty or the membrane has been exposed for several days, use weathered membrane cleaner to clean the membrane prior to installing the flashings. Cut and set two pieces of TPO membrane long enough to extend three inches past each corner of the curb. Put the black side up and set on opposite sides of the curb. Cut and set two more pieces that are the same length as the sides of the curb. All four pieces should be wide enough to extend six inches out onto the roof surface and turn over the top of the curb one and a half inches. These are the flashing pieces. Make sure the black side is up and the pieces of equal length are opposite each other. For the two pieces extending past the corners, draw a line three inches in from each end of the sheet. Draw a third line on the sheet six inches in from the edge opposite the side of the curb. For the remaining two pieces, draw a line on each sheet six inches in from the edge opposite the side of the curb. This will define the area to apply the bonding adhesive. Apply the bonding adhesive to each sheet and to the sides of the curb. Be sure you do not apply adhesive past the lines. Do all four sides. Allow the adhesive to dry to the touch, but still tacky. Measure the height of the curb. Adding six inches to your measurement, mark each end of the flashing and chalk a line. Do this on all four pieces. This is your guide for setting the pieces against the curb. These will be installed from the top down. Set each flashing piece with the chalk line against the top edge of the curb. Press the membrane in place and roll thoroughly. Turn the top of the flashing down on top of the curb and roll. Repeat these steps with the remaining three pieces. Cut out the excess material at the base and top of each corner so that only the material to be folded around the corner remains. Do this with each corner. Round the corners on all four flanges that extend out onto the roof. Use a handgun to weld the flanges to the roof surface. Tack weld first to act as an air dam and then weld each flange. Be sure to weld each end of the flange back to the base of the curb. The automatic welder may also be used to weld the length of each flange. Weld the extensions tight to the sides of the curb. You are ready to install the TPO Universal Corners. Check all welds with a seam probe. After installing the TPO Universal Corners, Apply cut edge sealant to all cut edges of the membrane used for flashing. 